Hey guys, Samuel here. Today we're going to be looking at MM Hunter in Arena and in particular the strategy, the role and then the best sort of arena compositions that I think um, for Hunter in 2v2 and then 3v3. And to do this we're going to be going over some film first, just looking at all the important things I think a Hunter should be trying to do and then also the role that they play in a team, whether that be 2v2 or 3v3 arena. So for this first one, we're going to be looking at the Burst Opener. I'm up against Windwalker Monk Protection Paladins, so I'm going to be opening the Windwalker Monk. I've set a focus target on the Protection Pally for CC. Binding shot, resonating arrow and double tap into the explosive shot, rapid fire. So that's the, and into an aim shot, and you can see he's died already. So that's the ideal Burst Opener you want. So in this one I've just communicated with my teammate, maybe we should split targets, so I'll take the Arms Warrior, he can take the Balanced Druid. I know I'm pretty good at soloing Arms Warrior, so I'm going to just use my Burst Opener, avoid taking any damage while my Balanced Druid takes care of the other guy. For this one I'm going to talk about when to use your Trinket. So you can see he does Dragon's Breath here, I don't use my Trinket yet, I know he's going to Poly, use it then. He's used Alter Time and Combustion, so I used my Trank Arrow to take one of those off. You saw it, it took off the Alter Time, and then I just finish off the Warrior whilst also using Roar of Sacrifice on my Pally, because he was their kill target. And then just finish off the Mage. And also, this is another good one, a good weak aura. See, it just pops up, kill the pod. So I've just shown a good use of Trinket, um, trying to wait for the right time to use your Trinket, knowing what uh, spells they have. Now I'm going to show a bad use of Trinket. So this Shaman, you'll see I put my Binding Shot on him, get my Resonating Arrow Interrupt. He's Trinketed my Binding Shot and my Pally has instantly hodged for the five seconds after that. And because of that, he hasn't been able to pop his wall, he's died. So this one we're going to look at what to do if you are in a 1v2 situation or a 1v1 situation. Basically you want to try to keep line of sight of at least one of the targets while you're killing the other. You don't want to be chasing people down, you tr want to try and hit targets and keep them rooted in place when you can. See so yeah, I've just jumped back out of that Frost Nova, finish off the Rogue, keep that distance from this mage while I wait for my cooldowns to come off, keep my pet on him so he can't get away. Um, so I'm basically just waiting for uh, my bursts to come back, so now you see I've got double tap, so I'm going to put resonating arrow down, pop my double tap explosive shot into my rapid fire, and that's going to force his uh, ice block. So now I keep my pet on him to make sure he doesn't go anywhere, doesn't get a re-stealth or anything like that. I'm going to bring my pet back, feign death, and then use camouflage so I can heal up. He's used alter time, so I've just avoided that, um, him using that cooldown basically. Use binding shot, so then he's stuck in place as he goes back in his alter time, and then just finish him off basically after that. For this one I'm going to be talking about positioning. You want to try and get yourself in a good position to get your binding shot off on two targets at the start. So you see I land that there. I then have my resonating arrow down so then I can line of sight and do all the damage on them. Interrupt that hex and then just go for the kill there. As you can see I'm taking no damage so far. I'm getting all of my burst off and uh, yeah, some very easy kills there. This one I'm going to be talking about using focus targets. So you can see I've got the uh, Warlock as a focus target. I just focus target, macroed um, the concussive shot into the freezing trap and then I'm keeping my target on the feral. I can see he's casting a fear so I just focus target counter shot him while I keep chasing down that Feral Druid for the kill. This is a threes example. I got a bit lucky, I popped the Balanced Druid out. But one of the important things to learn is to stay near a healer. This Balanced Druid just runs off by himself. This is a perfect opportunity for me to get an easy kill on him. He's going to get no heals, I'm going to get my whole burst off without him doing anything. And that's, yeah, 
game over for them pretty much. So for this one we're going to talk about being patient with your binding shot. Ideally you want to get two targets. So you can see I've waited for a good time to protect my teammate. Both get hit by binding shot, hitting the rep pally even though he's not really my kill target with the balanced druid. I uh, hear Convoke, so instantly turn around, switch targets on the Balanced Druid and interrupt that before I take too much damage. Finish off my kill target, which was the Balance, and then switch over to the Ret for the final kill. So this team is fairly easy for us, but um, another thing, just you know, jumping back towards my healer rather than jumping away from him. And then also, Hand of Protection, use Trank Arrow and then interrupt that heal for the kill. So breaking down what MM Hunter brings to the team, what role they play, basically got two burst cooldowns, double tap and true shot, and you want to try to use these when you're not going to be interrupted, you want to get your entire burst off while you have the true shot um, cooldown activated. In terms of utility that we bring to the team, we've got the slow concussive shot, scatter shot, binding shot, as well as an uh, interrupt on a 24 second cooldown. Uh, also have the traps, so freezing trap, tar trap, and then high explosive trap if you spec into that PvP talent. Uh, in terms of defensives, there's aspect of the turtle, exhilaration, feign death, and then if you're Kyrian, file of serenity. Um, and you also get resonating arrow to shoot through pillars, for example. Um, some of the other benefits is also camouflage, so if you um, run with a stealth team you can get really good openers, you can get kills in the first 10 seconds of the game, some very quick um, rating that way. Uh, you can also pop camouflage middle of the game if you get out of combat and you just want to get a reset or just heal back up, um, that's really good too. So the other things is uh, in terms of mobility, aspect of the cheetah as well as disengage. So um, disengage, if you have gone post haste, you can get out of CC. So you saw I previously used my disengage to get out of a frost nova. Um, that's also quite useful as well. The other thing is if you've gone survival tactics, um, you can also get out of CC like entangle roots, frost nova, for example. Um, the other PvP talent I suggest going, and I do go most games, is Roar of Sacrifice, and I choose this PvP talent when I know that either myself or my teammates are going to take a lot of damage from the higher burst teams, and we just need to take off some of that pressure with a Roar of Sacrifice. Um, it's also a really good move in that you can still use it while you're stunned, so if I get stunned by a rogue, just quickly Roar of Sacrifice myself if I'm the kill target and then I can potentially stay alive if I've already used my trinket and it's just another line of defense to survive that bit longer in, in matches. So the other thing we bring to the team is pets. So I use a rodent for the master's call and the pathfinding as well as mortal wounds. And then I also use a scorpid for the mortal wounds and leech if I need um, to leech health in certain situations when I'm trying to survive um, a match, for example. So in terms of what role an MM Hunter plays in Arena, obviously we bring a lot of burst. We've got that range so we don't need to get into the thick of it. We can switch targets very quickly to um, get quick kills as well as setting up focus targets um, to do a quick interrupt on, on a healer or a quick concussive shot freezing trap on our CC target as well. Um, bringing those uh, utility spells such as the trap, the binding shots just helps keep targets a little bit less mobile, um, helping other classes be able to execute their bursts as well. Uh, we have reasonable defensives enough to stay alive and we also have that roar of sacrifice to, to help out. So in terms of the best compositions for a MM Hunter to go with in twos, I would say um, going with a healer would be the meta if you are interested in progressing to really high rating. You probably will want to go with a healer. Uh, that being a Resto Druid, probably the best because you get that Cyclone. You also get the Stun DR, which you, you, know, you have neither DR 
with um, those spells so then you can maximize you know you can put together a, a druid stun into a freezing trap into three cyclones and that's you know that's a lot of time already um, so then I would say second would be a holy pally obviously the hammer of justice they get that a lot so that's a stun quite regular and they're not going to DR with you at all so every single stun they put down it's going to be a five second stun that's a really good window to have on you know if, even if you want to set up a kill on a healer that's popped a trinket or you want to just keep a healer out of action or a, or a DPS out of action for five seconds um, that's a really good pairing I would say after that's probably a Disc Priest just because of how strong they are, but keep in mind that the Fear is going to DR with the uh, Freezing Trap. So you guys, um, you won't have as many, as much CC potential, but you still have a lot of kill potential with Mind Games, and then the Disc Priest's damage can be really high too. Uh, so if you don't want to go down the healer route, and um, let's just say... Uh, if you do play a double DPS team, you do need to play at a higher level to get high rating. It is harder, there's less room for error, because if you make a mistake, um, you can just lose the game, whereas if you make a mistake in twos with a healer, you can just get healed back up for that mistake. Um, but in twos, you can be punished if you pop a trinket at the wrong time, and then you get caught in a five second stun, you can die. So I would suggest going a double DPS team um, if you enjoy playing that. The, the, the pace of the games is a lot faster. The win condition is a is a lot more uh, random. You can get wins really quickly, unexpectedly. You could be you know on 20% health and looking like you're going to lose the game, and then all of a sudden pull together a CC chain and just annihilate one of the targets. Um, so it can be really fun and I personally prefer playing double DPS because it, it feels more challenging and I enjoy trying to push that rating. Um, obviously you can still get Gladiator in a double, double DPS teams. People do get uh, that far in that rating. I haven't personally before, um, but it's something that I'm trying to work towards. So best compositions, I think with an MM Hunter for a double DPS is Feral Druid or Balanced Druid because of the complementing CC, you've got the hybrid off heals, you have that, um, you know, all the utility spells that a uh, Druid can bring such as Ursul's Vortex as, um, as well as, you know, Bark Skin and uh, Thorns, very useful um, for team. The next I would say is probably a rep pally or prop pallies have been doing very well. They're almost, you can substitute them almost for a healer because the healing output is just so high. Uh, next would be probably a rogue. So going for that thug cleave, rogue is just so very strong at the moment. And obviously a hunter, you know, MM hunter doesn't have a stun. So you're not going to DR with any of their stuns so they have free reign on stuns um, it's just them that they have to compete with for stuns and also blind nothing dr with blind so you know you can get a freezing trap into a blind and that's already uh, 15 14 seconds there plus you know chuck a kidney on top of that you got an extra six seconds so heaps and heaps of kill opportunities playing with a rogue downside is you're just so squishy uh, you will die um, if you screw up you will die like you get caught in a stun or, or your rogue gets caught in a stun you can just drop so quickly next would be uh, elemental shaman is pretty reasonable to play with um, I've found maybe not so much in twos I haven't tried it that much in twos but in threes it's really quite strong they've got high bursts they've got good off heels they've got a strong wall they've got their totems um, they've got their stun so they just have a lot to help with a hunter um, in general uh, next we're going to look into the best threes teams so i think jungle cleave is the best threes team so you know it's good in twos, also good in threes. Just that synergy with the Feral Druid and, and all that um, good stuff the hybrid class can bring to the team. 
Um, and then I would say after that is probably Thog Cleave because rogues are in such a good state right now and they're not sharing any of those diminishing returns. Having a healer so you've got something to fall back on if you know you do make some mistakes uh, can also be handy. But it is going to be quite hard on a healer to keep you guys up because you are a bit squishy so just keep that in mind. Try to play defensively, try to avoid damage when you can, try not to get caught out in the open when they're bursting and also peel for your teammates like interrupt when you see certain spells that are going to do lots of damage um, yeah but that can work quite well uh, and then I would say pairing with a rep pally in threes is quite good as well so you know you get that regular hodge where it's going to be a full duration each time um, it's yeah it's a really good sort of synergy with the mm hunter and then I would say sort of middle of the pack warrior hunter is quite good in threes because you do have the warrior stun yeah if they do go carry and they've got that move to keep uh, the target there which is synergizes so well with mm hunter because we just need our target to not line of sight us so if the warrior gives us time to get off a good amount of burst uh, when we don't have resonating arrow um, that also synergizes quite well as well as them being really good at peeling for uh, the healer as well as peeling for you and just putting on that forward melee pressure to allow you to sort of sit back and just unleash on their team and kite around when you need to and sort of sit in good positioning with your healer so that um, your line of sight of your healer and getting good amounts of healing. So one of the classes I would say we don't synergize well with and to try to avoid is a warlock because fear diminishes with the uh, freezing traps. So I would not recommend pairing with a warlock. You don't really synergize well together. Um, it's probably the worst class I can think of off the top of my head to, for um, MM Hunter synergy because um, Warlocks don't, you know, you do have that health stone, but you, they don't have any off heals, um, so they can't help um, the healer out or they can't help um, you stay alive for very long, especially when their fears are diminishing with your freezing trap and you're just losing time on your CCs when you need it. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've uh, learned something from this. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment sections. I'll do my best to reply to them as fast as possible. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Um, thank you everyone for your support and comments. I've really appreciated being a part of the community and helping you guys get better ratings. It also um, you know, even just analyzing my own footage, I can see certain mistakes that I've made. I'm uh, picking up on things. So that was uh, another really handy thing to do. And especially for yourself, like just record yourself and, and look at, at um, your film and break it down. Like I, I couldn't even believe how much that helped even myself just try to do things more that I should be doing, like interrupting more. Um, sometimes I'd see my freezing trap was off cooldown for 15 seconds before I even used it again. So uh, just being more aware of that is going to make you a better player, going to make you more desirable to be in a team and then to push rating with good players that are serious about trying to get better rating in the game. Um, so that's it for this video and all the best to you on your journey to whatever rank you're trying to achieve this season. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.